Alright, so I'm gonna be working on to see if I can get now to Tekken King in this episode. I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm going to try my best to not demote to Kishin at least, I hope. I really do hope. Oh snap, what a smart guy. Oh, nice delay to, to get to him. Again, that messes up. There we go. That didn't give me... That's so unfortunate. There you go. Nice. caught him with that I could have actually done something there. Ooh -hoo -hoo! oh that lag right there I, I I don't know if it lagged on him or lagged on me I don't know but that looked like he might think that I just cheated got him there frame trap Nice. Nice. He got me. Don't know what that grab is. I'm gonna go for it. You see what I'm saying? Out three plus four has no face. Has no face through. Nice one. It might bring this back on me. Or not. Who are you? Woo! Nah, of course. He was waiting for it. See, that's what I'm saying. You can't go for these setups anymore. They don't work. They're so easy. They're so predictable. Thank you, game. Thank you. You're kidding. He completely recovered from that? Are you kidding me? Ay, ay, ay. What am I doing? Well. Good games. I'm back to Kishin. They're they're all ducking my my moves moves that that at before used to be easy to use like people don't really duck them now they're ducking it. Okay, here's a promotion. Ah, oh, I messed up. Okay, that was sick. Round two. Fight. I'm gonna spend it now. That's unfair, man. Man, he must feel. <laughs> I would have felt like shit right there. Fight. 
that didn't give me enough time to use my flash. Sometimes using flash is not always good. He really went for that. There we go. I mean, he was just less experienced than, than what he thought. I mean, he didn't know how to fight against Yoshi, is what I'm trying to say. I've actually been trying now, Steve, uh, lately, practicing how he, do he, how he does his combos and all that stuff. Ooh, I, I just mashed there, actually, I'm not gonna lie. Nice launch. I love his combo. He flash tuck, that was crazy. I knew gonna go for a high. Gonna go for flash. He's opting to destroy it instead of getting. Okay, I don't know. I thought I won there. I let go of my hand on the controller. Ah. Uh. Oh. Oh no! You know what I should have went? I should have went for. Wait, was I even in the no sword stance? I don't even know. If I was, I'm gonna go for the the bud stomp. Go for the same setup. Oh. There we go. I did a lot better there. I made proper reads, but again, I, I just feel like a lot of the times, just players don't have any matchup experience against Yoshimitsu, so they get caught by a lot of the things that I'm doing. There we go. Man, if only that was... I thought I'm gonna go for the grab. That's unfortunate. That At that range, yeah, I would whiff. So I can't really complain. Man, this side steps are gnarly. What? So I can't si sidestep that? This is the issue with, with me fighting against Dragonauts. If they have that stupid command grab, I have to worry about it. 
that's not what I'm doing. Jesus, this controller. Ah, of course, sneak into four. And he still recovers. What is with the recovery in this game? I should have enough time to launch him there. What the f oh. That's not what I... I'm a constant fat finger. I got my damn fat hands. Uh, so this, this is going to be testing my knowledge of Yoshi now. I, I'm pressing back for the love of God this game Nope He tried to force the power crush Getting a lot of missed inputs. And how did I get that launch? You gotta be joking. He went for his flash. Against my I was gonna go for the flash, I was gonna go for something else. I thought he was gonna respect me, but he didn't. I waited for too long. No fucking oh, that's that's stinking controller dude. If I lose this game because of this stupid controller, man, I'm gonna get so pissed. Jesus. I, I'm like an inch away of thinking of just like spiking my controller right now because how stupid that was. Oh shit, we're both going through the same. There we go. If he gets up like that, he gets caught by the CD1. That's why it works. That I um, can't get even. I can't even get Samurai Cutter to work. That's safe. Nice. Oh, he got caught by the heat smash. I keep going for 1-1 when he goes for 1-1 when it's safe. It's, it's out of instinct. 
Nice. He's not really doing like the big combos. Again, the stupid inputs. I'm sorry I'm complaining, guys. It's just my nature when I get pissed off. Like, I'm mad even when I won the game because of how stupid that was. You're really teabagging me? <laughs> I really thought I'm gonna go for the heat first. I'm gonna grab him. Did he do it there? <laughs> I don't even I don't really mind it. Oh you gotta be joking, AOP can go suck my cock. Oh man. That's the one thing. I mean I'm gonna have to not use uh, Kentro Perry because it doesn't freaking work. He goes for Snake Edge. What am I doing? Okay. Dude, he does it right in front of me like that, and I'm like, what is he gonna do? And I still get caught. Oh, I'm glad he whipped. Man, I got him good. Round one. Fight. Again. <laughs> No, I, I knew for sure they were gonna go for that weird drop kick thing. Just for another grab. Okay. Oh, I never seen that move. And that launches too, man. Oh, wrong. Nice mix. Oh shit.
that came out so fast. That came out way so way too fast. Again, dude. Oh, fuck oh. you. <laughs> You're kidding! Yeah, he catch me! <laughs> this guy yeah, is on my nerves right now. He thinks he's funny. Oh, he's using that to. Oh, that's smart. Oh, I messed up. No! Oh my goodness sake, dude. Oh, I thought I was not. Ah, oh man, my brain sometimes. He catches me with that. He rage quit. If you see this guy online, if you see this guy online, report him. Because he thinks he's hot shit. Taunting me and all that shit. And I thought he was just being, you know, I know he's being an asshole. But I'm just guessing that he's just trying to be like an asshole on purpose just to get on my nerves. But he's being playful. Now you know that this guy is an actual asshole. This is not the same Shao Yu, this is a different Shao Yu, not the one that just rage quit on me. Mmm, got me good there. Nice. I mean, we need to stop doing CD too. Oh. No. Got him there. Oh, he canceled me. I'm completely fine with people leaving a match if they lose a game, because that's their choice after that if they don't want to rematch. What I don't like is when if an opponent wins a game and I want to rematch, but then they end up leaving. That is the kind of one and done that I don't like. One and doneing to me isn't when you one and done is when you win a game and then you decide to leave and not give your opponent the chance to rematch. You're getting a lot of high tier characters against me. Jump, jump. 
Nice. Going all in. Oh shit. Yeah. Man, I can't press anything against him. Yeah, he's gonna hold his chip on black. He really does not respect me. Wasn't complete. Again, I'm dead. I'm dead there. I knew I was gonna be dead. All it takes is one stupid command grab and that's all it takes to beat me. Cause I can't tell when the grab is coming out. This is what I'm saying. Got me good. Mm. Thought it was gonna let me continue pressing there, but I guess not. And another guy that won and done. Great, fantastic. I'm starting to see a uh, pattern here. <laughs> Oh my god, he keeps sidestepping away. I mean, side of coming. Nice, he got me. And he gets the wall. Fantastic. I love this game. At certain situations, when I do it, it's like the game decides, oh. I don't get the hit, but no, they do. Nice. That's risky what he just did there, but he got it. Can I not step to the right? Is that to the left, right? You got me good here. I'm dead here. There's no way that I'm gonna get. Jeez. Man, he's stepping everything with this. He got me good. Back one. That will be my turn, I guess. Now.
Man, I would have actually had him. Nice, three plus four. Nice. Lisa didn't get the combo combo like the optimized combo with that weird like helmet oh no never mind right, maybe he changed outfits That's not what I did. That's not what I did either. That's unfortunate.
What the frick? You saw what you saw what just happened? What just happened there? Why did my up forward three whiff? That's his poor judgment right there.
Yes! You win. Oh, Yoshi mid to entire oh. game, bro. I'm going to have to beat them out. Holy shit. I've been focused like in three sets, three different matches that I've been in. I've just been straight ass focused. Oh, mother of days, man. I can't even say. Ah, <sighs> dude. Oh, so by, by days, I finally managed to hit Tekken King with Yoshimitsu. You, you have no idea how how much stress I was going through trying to like reach the, the last rank. And I'm not going to lie, I was super focused. You didn't hear a peep on me on the last three sets that I had the last three matches and I was just hard focused trying to see if I can like read the opponent not trying to like talk too much not trying to think you know commentation and all that shit I just wanted to just focus onto the game and hope being that I can just get the the rank that I that I want and I know that I, I still need a lot of work on my gameplay my Yoshimitsu gameplay is is garbage I, I've been making a lot of bad reads I feel like I'm still uh, making a lot of mistakes when it comes to like the right punishes with him and not only that, I'm not including a lot of his stances. That, that a lot of players are telling me that I'm not really incorporating his stances, and they're right, because I'm not really using Flea as much. I'm not really incorporating Dragonfly stance more often, like in the neutral at least. I've been only hard focusing in like the fundamental gameplay with Yoshimitsu, like using his neutrals, like using down forward one, down forward four. Like those moves have legitimately carried me to succession with his overall gameplay because his gameplay is very trickster like so i can't really play him as a party character when he's built to be a party character in a way i i, tr I refuse to go through that particular type of route where i have to try to uh, play around with his tools to see if they work and lo and behold in the end, the, the last three sets, I, I started to incorporate the flea stance more often. I started to incorporate the dragonfly stance more often. And I have managed to succeed. I managed to use CD2 in the neutral more often so that I can catch people off guard. And it's worked off. It's, it's paid off, really. So I'm glad that that's working out. I'm kind of getting an idea as to how I should play Yoshimitsu, at least with my overall style as to how I play Yoshimitsu. I'm kind of unwrapping it. So I'm getting there. I'm getting there. But I will say this, and you guys are going to be probably a little bit disappointed. I'm going to stop playing him for a while. I'm going to be moving on to other characters. This doesn't mean that I'm going to be doing the Road to Fujin arc challenges that I've been doing previously. I'm going to be instead moving on to other characters that I'm going to be maining besides Yoshimitsu, like hard maining. That you'll be seeing these characters often on my channel. And those characters are going to be uh, Claudio. I'm thinking of playing Claudio, picking him up. I'm thinking of picking up some, some Lars. I like Lars a whole lot. I love his gameplay. And I'm hard thinking of also picking up some Steve. I really like Steve's gameplay. I always found his gameplay to be confusing in Tekken 7. But now in Tekken 8, I feel like they simplified him a little bit more. So it's easy to pick up. So I really want to pick up some steve and actually main him as well the last character that i want to main and this character is probably going to be my primary main and make my yoshimitsu my pocket main when i want to get serious like when i want to like just like win games and like get get high ranks or whatever or just get good at the game the character that i want to focus on the most more so than yoshimitsu since the beginning of the release of the game is victor like Victor is that character that reminds me a lot of Soul Calibur. Like I come from Soul Calibur. If you if you see all the way back on my channel, you will see a lot of old videos from me, very shitty videos of course, where I played Soul Calibur 6. And Victor reminds me of some of the characters in that game. And I really want to play him. I really want to main that character. But the thing is that he's, he's super cheesy right now. It's it's very difficult to like Victor right now as a character. I like his gameplay, but it's just too overbearingly strong. That you can get away too with too much with him and i feel that if i play him it's gonna carry me too often and, and it's gonna be a crutch where a lot of the tools that he has it's just gonna lead me to success which is a good thing it's a positive thing but it would also hinder my progress as a player playing second eight so i don't want to main him yet i'm hoping that in the next patch they're gonna nerf him at least to a degree where he's instead of being an S tier character, he's gonna be more like a maybe like an, in the middle of an A tier. And I won't even mind if they made him super weak, like a, like at least to the point where he's like a B tier, getting to an A tier type of level. That would actually make me a lot more interested in picking up Victor because I do want to primarily main him. He's his entire style, his gameplay. I love all of that, but I don't want to feel carried. 
when I'm playing this character. Like, I, I want to play a character that, that I feel that is strong, but not, or at least that not strong. I don't care if it's strong or weak. It's just that I want a character that's consistent. That's what I like consistency and more simplicity if that makes sense having to do with their gameplay and yoshimitsu doesn't fit that criteria he fits a more complex and overly technical character and i don't like that it, and even though i've been playing him since second seven i've wanted to move away from him for a long time but i just couldn't find a way to do so because my channel was already you know booming at the time and i don't want to stop but i really want to play other characters i don't want to pick and play Yoshimitsu like I'm probably gonna have him as a pocket main while I focus on other characters that I really really like to play so what that means for the future of, of this channel is that you're likely gonna be seeing a lot less Yoshimitsu now and seeing other characters that I want to pick up well that I'm gonna be maining like hard maining and like I already mentioned it's gonna be Claudio I'm um, Lars and Steve these three characters in the future when Lydia comes out and, and during the summer I'm probably gonna be picking up her as well because I really like her karate uh, style so i'm gonna be picking up her, uh, her as well and then hoping to harada that he brings up armor king to be honest there's no other character that i want to buy more so than armor king i don't really care for anna i don't care for any of the the other legacy characters in the game uh even if they were to add fakuram which fakuram is another character that i really like as well they didn't really play him uh, in tekken 7 because he was very broken at the time and even when they nerfed him he still felt broken, but he was considered to be very weak at the time, so I, I don't know. But if Armor King comes out, regardless if he's broken or very weak or just in the middle, he is most definitely going to be like a hard second main, apart from Victor and, of course, uh, Yoshimitsu. So that is the goal in mind with this channel. So yes, you'll see a lot, a lot less Yoshimitsu. I'm probably going to make uh, guides on Victor, even though there's already guides out there, but I'm probably going to make a guide that's just more finding tricks and stuff like that with him so that you guys can then get into him if you want to because i i feel like you guys that like yoshimitsu will probably will be into victor since he's another you know weapon specialist character in the game so yeah that's about it and another thing i have a discord opened up i have a discord channel so if you guys want to go to my discord uh to just chat it up and you know say whatever uh and also have some games you want to have some games against each other i probably won't participate as much because i'm probably gonna leave that when i start streaming and then the last thing that I will be doing, or should I say that I'm gonna be announcing, I'm not gonna stream on YouTube. I, I thought about it and some people have told me that it would be better to just stream on Twitch since for one, even though Twitch is quite bloated with the amount of people that are streaming there, but it's, it's the same thing with YouTube really. And YouTube is still quite, how should I say, small as a streaming platform comparatively to Twitch. A lot of people are just giving me advices that maybe I should just go to Twitch instead and not to YouTube, at least not yet. I am planning in the future, once I get like maybe another rig, like I was planning to maybe get a laptop or maybe like a, a mini PC, mini de de desktop, to try to stream by streaming, if that makes sense, or like double streaming, so that I can stream on YouTube as well as on Twitch. And then that will be my primary goal at that point. I'll be uh, streaming most of the time, and then I'll do some videos here and there. If you guys want to watch if you know it starts doing well once i start double streaming or by streaming and uh, instead so i'll be on twitch i don't have everything ready yet i'm almost done with everything that i'm setting up on twitch so that everything works out well i still don't know how it's going to end up working because i don't know how well my bandwidth can handle the game as well as the streaming so i hope that everything works out well so I'll be doing some tests, uh, not today, but tomorrow. I'll probably gonna do one tomorrow. And if I don't bear with me, I'll probably do it the next day after. Cause again, I I'm just trying to uh, settle in with all this so that I can then do streaming as a full-time thing, but not yet. Cause I'm still not exactly at a point where I can say I can do full-time. So if you guys like what you watched, I hope that you enjoy the series. It's been a blast. I vanished every chicken king, like I already mentioned. If you like what you watch, give it a like or a dislike if you want to. Subscribe to see more of my shit. Share this video to a lot of your friends or anybody else that you want to. And stay tuned for more.